Right, this is a 1960 Mark I Austin Healey that has been turned into a works replica. Um, as per the uh, Trade Me ad, it's got all the good bits on it. And in a second, we're just going to do a, a bit of a start up. Those beautiful triple Weber carburetors. 45s, they've all been pre tuned. Custom made radiator uh, with a quite a large electric fan, oil cooler. Down in here in the suspension, fully adjustable uh, suspension front and rear. Beautiful headers in there, all custom tuned. Integrated roll cage. I'll just go over to the other side so you can have a look at the roll cage. There it is there. the good bit. Um, side exhaust pipes and um, mini lights. You can see the headers down on there. That's just the fuel pump you can hear. High pressure fuel pump, we'll get round to that in a second. Bud is the original guy that purchased the car and started to develop it in Nelson. Um, he took it quite a long way and then um, it dropped a valve. And I purchased it with a dropped valve. Um, the top end had been done and the bottom end had been done uh, before he sold me the car. Um, or should I say before his estate sold me the car. Um, but the um, putting together of it was left to the new owner, which was me, and I employed a, um, a chap that does a whole lot of work for uh, Southwoods Car Museum. So he's well, well and truly acquainted with push rod engines and um, uh, high performance engines and did a great job. This is a uh, custom aluminium tranny tunnel on it, it's got a Toyota 5 speed, as you can see on the seat belts, just see if we can get it, it's got 2019, but you can still, you can still use them in some classes of racing, um, you'd have to check whether, if you're doing a Targa, if you can use it at club events, you can still do it, here's the rest of the roll cage, as you can see it's got a full log book, all certified, um, we get round into the uh, boot area, I'll take another video later with the boot cover on, uh, custom stainless fuel tank, nice big solid fuel filter and uh, two big fuel pumps in there. Generally I've just run it with one fuel pump going, but um, I'm unsure at what point you would use um, two fuel pumps. Beautiful flared guards, all aluminium um, Dennis Walsh racing parts. Now the um, uh, bonnet is attached by uh, about four screws at the top, uh, two at the bottom, one on either side, sorry, one on either side on under there, and then along the front. Um, you can see the pickups 
um, there and uh, just a, um, a bolt, a screw and bolt on there. Um, when I've got it all, when I've got the cover on, the bonnet on, you'll see how it all attaches up front here. Uh, electric steering works very well, not power steering, electric steering. Um, everything's been done to a very, very high standard. Um, and um, it had a um, right angle brake pedal on it when I purchased it. I put, sent it in to get that all sorted. I'm still not 100% happy with that, but it's all been done as per, as per the it was certified at the start. Somebody put a right a um, brake pedal. It will come with. I've got the brake pedal there for the car. Um, but yeah, a little bit more work needs doing there. 